<laughs> Another idiotic student has stumbled into my little web, eh? The contact nerve toxin in the air should knock you out quickly enough. <laughs> Welcome. Awake already, are you? Good. This is the tomb of Sith Lord Tulak Hor, if you don't know. I've taken up residence here for now. It's dusty and full of critters, but it's home. Oh, yes. Introductions, of course. I suppose it is time, isn't it? This other student here that I captured earlier, you should know well enough. His name is Miko. Say hello, Miko. <laughs> Poor lad. He's had a hard day. My name is Jorak Earl. I was once the head of the academy, so I'm sure you've heard of me. What? Old hermit? Can't that blasted Utha teach a single thing right these days? Slander! That's what it is. Anyhow, I'd like to propose that we move on to the main event. You see... I'd like to discover if you've got the pluck of an old-fashioned Sith. Most of the Drek Uthar has been passing through these days is so pathetic. Take young Miko here. I already tested him, didn't I, Miko? I... Yes, yes, you're welcome. You see, Miko here has the cruel disposition of a Sith, but not the gumption that I'm looking for. Well, forgive me for resorting to the cliché, but you would die, of course. No, no, is that any kind of attitude to take with higher education? I'm doing you a favor, really. So then, this is how it goes. I'm going to pose a moral question to you. Get it right, and I torture Miko. Get it wrong, and I torture you. Miko here is a bit he probably won't be able to take much more punishment. I know. Get too many wrong, and you'll die yourself. I don't know what you think of Miko. Maybe you don't like him. Maybe you think he deserves to be murdered. Well, here's your chance, fair enough. Oh? It's just how long have you been a Sith, anyhow? A bit dainty around the edges, aren't we? Well, then. Any last comments before we begin, Miko? Uh, we can both survive. Attacking together. Now, now, dear lad. Do you really think your friend here will answer questions wrong just to spare little you? Risking their own life? And how many correctly answered questions before you die? No, don't be silly. You had your chance, remember? On that note, let's begin. Now then, your immediate superior amongst the Sith is an effective commander and a fine leader. He trusts you and you like him. You see an opportunity to kill him. What do you do? Then I must assume you did not know the correct answer. Sad, really, that you would do this to yourself. Ah, well. It's time for your punishment. And so we come to round two. You come across a group of humans who are threatened by dangerous animals. They plead for help, offering you a reward. What do you do? So you've made a profit, and now you have some sniveling, useless fools trading after you. No, 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 no. Bad idea, bad idea. At any rate, here is your punishment. Let's see. Ah, yes. You discover an aspect of the Force that gives you great power. Do you share it and strengthen the Sith as a whole? Or keep it to yourself? And here I thought this question was an easy one. Oh, well, suit yourself. Well, you did ask for this. It's for your own good. Still going? All right, then. 
One of your underlings has made a major mistake which makes you look bad. He's normally very competent and skilled. Do you kill him or give him another chance? Another chance to make you look poor to your superiors? To make it look like you are weak and deserving of attack? No, 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 no. Think again. Hm. Not that good help is easy to find. Oh well, here's your reward. Last question. You're about to die. Do you pass on your knowledge to your apprentice to make him stronger? Or do you use your last breath to strike at your enemies? Fool! It's a trick question! A true Sith never dies! <laughs> I'll enjoy this one. Time for your medicine! Now, this is odd. The test is over and you're both still alive. Well, that's never happened before. What to do? What to do? I suppose this means you can go, Miko. We'll have to just figure out what to do with our friend here. Run along now. Oh, well, I could use the Force to free them. And we could kill you. Seems you didn't think of that, old man. What? Mutiny! Behave, students! I'll... That's it! Detention for all of you! Permanent detention! Your wish? Greetings. I don't think I've seen you at the Academy before. Here to investigate the ruins. My name's Dak Vesser. 
I'm assigned to the valley ruins, as you can see. We've been painstakingly uncovering these tombs for many months now. Dak? That is you, isn't it? I, I... I hardly recognized you. It's been a long time, Jahani. What are you doing here? Did you fall to the dark side? I didn't fall, Jahani. I had my eyes opened. And don't look at me like that. Last I recall, you were having your own doubts. I was. I'm not anymore. Dak, you could... Save it. The Jedi aren't for me. Not anymore. Look, I'm not going to ask why a couple of Jedi are here in the Valley of the Dark Lords. I don't want to know. It's better that I don't. In fact, I'll just get out of here and leave you to whatever it is you're planning to do. Fair enough? Running away? Again? Why not? It's what I do best. Yes. Isn't it obvious? I don't want to talk about it here, however. I don't think there's much to talk about. Have it your way, Jahani. You always do. Look, I don't want to be here after you leave. There'll be too many questions, so ask what you have to ask and I'll be on my way. A star map? No, I haven't heard anything about that. Something like that could be in Nagasato's tomb, I suppose. That tomb's off-limits to the students. It's the second tomb on the left when you enter the valley. Nagasato was the leader of the old Sith Masters here, we think. Darth Malak found something in there a while back, however, and ever since then only Master Uthar can enter it. No. A lot of the discoveries are kept secret, even from the students. I only heard that Darth Malak found something there by rumor, to be honest. Well, it seems that the Sith once inhabited Korriban a long time ago. There was a fortress here that was destroyed at some point before the Sith abandoned the planet completely. Why they left, we don't know. Perhaps the Jedi drove them off. The tombs in this valley are the only parts of the fortress we found mostly intact. Some. Most of the interesting stuff is still in the tombs. But Master Uthar prefers to leave them to be explored by the students as a challenge. In time, they will probably become safe enough for us to enter. Until that time, however, we're stuck to digging up the valley piece by piece. Definitely dangerous. Most of the students that go inside them don't come back out. Master Uthar prefers it that way. There's four tombs here. On the right are the tombs of Ajunta Paul and Tulak Horde. On the left are the tombs of Marco Ragnos and Nagasato. All four were ancient Sith Lords. Nothing I can think of. There's supposedly some old Sith Hermit that haunts these hills and kidnaps students. Might want to watch out for him. So do I. Goodbye, Dak. And thank you. Goodbye, Jahani. How may I be of a Sith? What is it you would like to speak to me about? There is little to tell. Dak and I were both Padawans. We joined the Order at the same time. He was a kind man, but frustrated. He felt the Jedi were too controlling, too limiting. More so than I did. When he decided to leave the Order, he asked me to come with him. He... He, he said he loved me. I suppose the rest is obvious enough that I need not tell it. He reminds me of what I was when you found me in the grove. I... I feel sorry for him. But he has chosen his path, hasn't he? If I thought he would accept an offer of help, I would give it. Let us just move on, please.
Chuta. <laughs> Someone told me you had an encounter with the herb himself. How is Jorak doing? Still Puritan and longing for the old days? <laughs> Don't be foolish. If Uthar wants to send an order like that, he can bloody well tell me himself. If you're here... This is... No thanks. Ah, what is this you bring me, Shardan? It is none other than the sword of Ajunta Paul, Master. Fool. All the trouble you went through for your deception, and you did not even make an effort to verify the sword's authenticity. Master, but what... what do you mean? There is no place for fools amongst the Sith. Be gone. <laughs> Greetings, young one. I have found you to be most impressive. You are off to an excellent beginning. Oh? What is my apprentice up to now? I see. Well then, should you change your mind, you know where to come, yes. Ah, the ones I ordered executed for their mutiny. It's done then. Indeed. We checked the caves and found only a couple of bodies. Perhaps the Shirak ate them. Well, it is just as good, I suppose. The lesson is learned, I believe. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. Yes, so I hear. I've had reports from some students that ventured into the tomb after you left and found the parts. Well done. I am impressed. You have rid us of a potential nuisance. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. Ah, finally, the genuine sword. I knew that this relic would be unearthed in time. I can feel the power flowing through it. Well done. You have impressed me greatly. You have impressed me enough, by my estimation, to become a Sith in full. Congratulations, young one. You have bested the others quite completely. You have but one final test which you must take, and this requires us to travel to the tomb of Nagasado in the Valley of the Dark Lords. I would advise you to be rested and equipped before we leave. Return to your quarters now and seek me out in the morning. When you return, make sure that you have all you will need, for you will face your test alone. Go, and may the Force serve you well. What are you doing here? Go back to Uthar and tell him you are ready to take your final test. Our moment is at hand. Go. So then, I take it you are ready to travel to the tomb of Nagasado. Your final test should not be delayed. Ah.
I will tell you the details when we are there, young one. You will, however, fight for your life. That is why I suggest you be in sufficient health. Then we go now. Very well. We are now ready for your final test, young Sith. You have earned the right to see if you shall become one of us. Indeed you have. I dislike your tone, you thorough. What are you up to now? Nothing, of course, my master. I was merely agreeing with you. Should we not get on with the test? Yes. Yes, of course. We are in the sacred tomb of Nagasado, young one. The one discovered by Darth Malak and Darth Revan years ago. You are to follow in their footsteps and reach the ancient star map that lies deep within. There you will find a lightsaber, amongst other things. The lightsaber is for you, your initiation present. Return to us once you have it. For you, the test does not end there. Be very cautious here. This tomb is like the others in this valley, and many of its old defenses remain active. Do you understand what I have told you? Are you ready to begin? You cannot. No one enters and no one leaves until your test is complete. Good. Euthora and I will await your return. Steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Ah! <laughs> 
on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Ah! 
with the lightsaber in hand, as I knew you would. The Force has served you well. You took a great risk in acquiring the artifact. You used your mind and your power. No peaceful meditation, no pacifism. Sometimes you must fight in order to achieve. This gives you your passion. This makes you stronger. This is what makes you superior. That is the lesson we teach with that part of the final test. Do you understand? When a Jedi acts, it is with skill, true. But the Jedi teach you that your passions are counterproductive. That strength is only found in peace. Did you not feel a moment of excitement in the tomb? Did your passions not flow and make you feel stronger and more alive? What purpose would be served by restricting yourself from such? I would say only the purpose of the Jedi. Through this, they would control you and restrict your potential. If you came to the Academy, you must have felt the stirrings within you that cry out for the freedom of the dark side, that cry out for release. I can only show you the path that will lead to power and superiority. You have followed it this far. You must decide if you are capable of continuing. True, but most would say they fight only when they must. 
or not at all. We are the ones who know that struggle is what makes us superior. Perhaps not to someone of your natural strength. The point is in the recognition of the nature of the act, rather than its sheer difficulty. When a Jedi acts, it is with skill, true. But the Jedi teach you that your passions are counterproductive, that strength is only found in peace. Did you not feel a moment of excitement in the tomb? Did your passions not flow and make you feel stronger and more alive? What purpose would be served by restricting yourself from such? I would say only the purpose of the Jedi. Through this, they would control you and restrict your potential. If you came to the Academy, you must have felt the stirrings within you that cry out for the freedom of the dark side, that cry out for release. I can only show you the path that will lead to power and superiority. You have followed it this far. You must decide if you are capable of continuing. This is where your path ends, young one. There is no turning back once you have embarked on it. Good. The last part of your test will now commence. Here, you will learn the lesson of competition. All life must compete in order to flourish. Such is the natural way of the universe. To stand still is to know death. One must always be moving forward. So it is the same amongst the Sith. Compete or die, mercy is irrelevant. So it behooves you in this final test to strike down one you are familiar with for no other reason than to prove you are superior and without mercy. Normally, this would be against another student. You, however, get a special treat. You will fight Euthora here, my own apprentice. What? So this is what you had planned all along? You wish me killed? Indeed. You have become too ambitious, Euthora. It is time for you to die and someone more talented to take your place. No. It is time for you to die, Master. My pupil stands with me. Oh. Is this true, young one? You wish to join Euthura in her foolish scheme? Do you hear that, my master? That is the sound of a new leader rising to replace you. So the time has come, has it? You both wish to stand against a Sith Master and perish, do you? Then so be it! Then you should have no trouble defending yourself, for what it's worth. You are no Sith. A real Sith would have no hesitation in striking me down. Oh. 
Then I hope you got what you came to the Academy for, whatever that was. I was right the first time back at the Cantina, wasn't I? There is something strange about you, more so than I even suspected. Your path leads elsewhere to a destiny I can only guess at. Whatever it is does not involve joining the Sith. Not yet, at least. Go then. Go and leave here. I'll not stop you. I hate it when things start to change so rapidly. We lose more teachers that way. Did I say that? Didn't I say that my past... That's a relief. Maybe an old man can finally get some peace around here. Now run along and do whatever you were doing already. Here to use the du Hmm. I knew something was up when you said I should have spent control of the Academy. Uthar must be planning to well, You go back to wherever Master Uthar is and tell him I'm on it. I'll get these prisoners out of the Academy. Politics are afoot at the Academy once again. You'd best be careful. A lot of people disappear at a time like this. There are tremors in the Force. I fear things have changed greatly here. Are you responsible for this?
If you must know, I intend to take the first ship off this rock. Why should that interest you? I trust you got whatever you wanted from the tombs? Why don't you ask her? She and I were students together at Dantooine, for a time. We were close, and we shared doubts about the Jedi's ways. I left for the Sith because I thought it would be better here. It looks like Jahani changed her mind and stayed with the Jedi after all. Your doing, maybe? Anyway, I'm done with the Jedi, the Sith, and with her. Just leave me alone. I already said, didn't I? I don't want to still be around when they start asking questions about you. Why do you care? I've no intention of opposing you. Perhaps you could go back to the Jedi. I did. I don't know. I'll think about it. Just leave me alone, Jahani. Then leave me be. Yes? What? You are one of the Sith from the Academy. What? Excuse me, have you seen a mechanic about? Short fellow, bald, I've been looking... Well, I'll be a Wookiee's uncle. Davin? Davin Coltress? <laughs> Jolie? Jolie Pinto? Why, you old freak. Last time I saw you, you were still wandering the galaxy in that old tug. I thought you were dead, old man. I crashed somewhere and decided to stay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll just bet. Damn, old man, you look exactly the same as the last time I saw you. You pickle well. You're too kind. Not the young lad anymore yourself, I see. What are you, deaf? His name's Davin, old friend from my wanderer days. By the by, Davin, I really should be running off. Of course, old man. Oh, w wait. I if you've been traveling in this sector, I suppose you heard about Sunry? No, why? What's there to hear? He's been picked up by the Selkath authorities on Manan. For murder. That's preposterous. I know. Melora is beside herself, as you can imagine. Maybe you could help them. I'm sure Sunry would appreciate a Jedi's assistance right about now. Perhaps I will at that. It's up to my friend here, actually. I'm just tagging along. I'd appreciate that. Sunry's an old friend. I'd hate to see him hurt. Same here. Well, <laughs> it was good to see you again. Give my regards to Alora if you see her. I will. Be safe, old friend. <laughs> 